I'm going to show you how to catch some mud suckers um, here in the West Sacramento deep water channel. You only need some uh, very small hooks. I have size 8 gamakatsu bait holders, some split shots in there, um, just, just in case if there's some current. And all you need is some worms. I'm using red worms uh, that, I, um, that I get from home. Uh, but you can also use a little piece of nightcrawler. If you're using red worms or nightcrawler, you just need a little piece of it and then uh, throw it on your hook. Oh. There we go, half of a red worm on a size 8 gamakatsu bait holder. There's not a lot of current in the deep water channel, so no weight, just my... Um, little swivel here whoops swivel is enough weight to get it down to the bottom all you do is you throw it out there a couple feet from the bank Let's see. just like that let it sit there for about five ten seconds give it a yank nothing there just throw it back Try to throw it in um, different spots every time you throw it back in. There's one. Oh, I lost it. There's one right there. Let's see if we can get it. Sometimes you can feel the bite. Sometimes you just got to set it. There it is. Bam. Just like that. It got my worm, but it's worth it. These are four bucks a pop at the store, the bait shop. And not a lot of bait shops have them right now. So save yourself some money. It's a lot of fun to catch them. And it's not too hard. Probably come during a high tide. Uh, all you need is a little hook, a little worm, and you can catch a bunch of them. A little tip I have is make sure you have some um, kind of bucket with water to put it in and um, make sure you throw some you know some grass or whatever plants are growing um, it kind of helps keep the mud suckers alive because if they see you sometimes they get spooked and they'll swim around real crazy and you know bonk their heads and it could really uh, you know limit their uh, lifespan so um, you want to keep them alive and uh, and well also, um, these are really good for catching keeper size striper. I'll show you the stringer right now. You got a nice size catfish and striper still kicking. The striper is five pounds, uh, about 25 inches. It's a fat one. And we got a two pound catfish right there. So it does work. Uh, you won't get a lot of bites, but you'll get quality bites. So I hope this helps.